Hey guys, Roger Alexander here, and today we are watching Game of Thrones Season 5, Episode 3. I'm really, Im not impressed, that's, a, well, I am impressed. I'm really enjoying the first two episodes of Game of Thrones Season 5. I didn't quite say it like that when I just say Season 5, it would have made this time a lot quicker. I am really enjoying this season so far, so I cannot kind of wait to see where it's going next. I'm loving some of the storylines going on with Daenerys, obviously. You know, how how she's coping with the fucking last episode we saw, Drogon was just like, yeah, bitch, I'm off, bye. So, yeah, I'm really interested to see some of the storylines that are going to develop later on this season. Um, I have no idea what's going to happen. So I cannot wait to watch this next episode. Before I do, um, I literally just got back from my peer box where there was a parcel waiting, so I thought, why not open it at the beginning of this episode? Because, you know, why not? So we're going to do that right now. So I've got, um, so I've got the box here and I've got some scissors, so let's just... I'm really crap at open boxes as well. Like I've literally got no hand-eye coordination, so I'm probably going to cut myself. See, look at this, Jesus Christ, George. I think this might be off John, one of my patrons. He did send me something, so it might be off him. How the hell did you know I needed one of these? Guys, look, it's a tripod. He did say I didn't need to open it on camera, but, um, but, John, sorry, I have. Thank you very much. I'm actually going to use this now, so I might just turn this camera off and, and use it. Thank you so much. This is awesome. I really needed to get one, so thank you so much, John. That's awesome. This is going to be awesome. Right, I'm really excited. Game of Thrones Season 5, Episode 3. Let's go! Also, don't forget to subscribe because, you know, um, that's what you should do because that's what this channel's here for. It's not here for you to just watch and then walk away like I'm just some child you didn't want. So, yeah, make sure you do that. Thanks to you all. Very kind. Don't forget, Daenerys is the best. Bye! Jeff. Fuck off! I'm getting married! No! What? Fuck off! Oh my god. Bitch, you gotta put a. Tom and stick your dick in it. We need a baby quick to close this deal. Just Tom and die. I can't do it. We can't have another wedding. some wine for you it's a bit early in the day for us <coughs> no, no oh i can't stay i just wanted to let you know if there's ever anything i can do for you you are very sweet these I'm two quite taken with this new queen these two are I amazing absolutely adore him you raised a gallant young man and forever grateful oh, both Good. fucking each other over you can't marry him. You can't make me. He is a traitor, a murderer. You're not marrying Ruth Bolton. No, we'll be marrying his son and heir, Ramsay. One day he'll be warden of the north, and no. you will, Sansa. No, you can't make me. I will starve myself. I will die before I have to go there. I won't force you to do anything. Don't you know by now I must care for you? Say the word and we turn the horses round. But listen to me. Listen. You've been running all your life. Terrible things happen to your family and you weep. You sit alone in a darkened room mourning their fates. You've been a bystander to tragedy from the day they executed your father. Stop being a bystander, do you hear me? Stop running. There's no justice in the world. Not unless we make it. There would have been if you would have fucking gone with Brienne. You loved your I believe this. She's gone from what? She says the worst line of marriages and proposals and shit that I think anyone's ever had in her life. She can't, as I say, I've said it before, I'll say it again. She cannot get a break, this girl. And she's gonna say yes, isn't she? He 
he, do you know what? He's the real bloody baddie, baddie villain in the Game of Thrones. I'm telling you now. Till I saw a few of the boys snickering. And then they all started to laugh. They couldn't keep the game going any longer. They were toying with me. Brienne the beauty, they called me. Great joke. And I realised I was the ugliest girl alive. A great lumbering beast. I tried to run away, but really Baratheon took me in his arms. Don't let them see your tears, he told me. They're nasty little shits, and nasty little shits aren't worth crying over. He danced with me and none of the other boys could say a word. Only was King's brother after all. You have many enemies in Castle Black. Have you considered sending Alice a thorn elsewhere? Give him command of Eastwoods by the sea. I heard it was best to keep your enemies close. Whoever said I didn't have many enemies. Says so Stannis, who sits on the other side of the world. He sees something in you. Sorry, guys. To be fair, I'd rather Stannis than, than the Boltons, so for all you Stannis fans out there, that's for you. I mean, I'd rather John rule the north and Daenerys rule the south. That'd be cool. What the fuck's Annie doing here? From bloody... from Annie. <laughs> what do you want? Who are you? Arya Stark. What? You, who are walking here with a coin you never earned, whose value you do not respect. Bitch. Who are you? I'm no one, so you're no one. No one. Ooh! Cunt! Lie. <laughs> Can't lie. Oh, God. The last thing of shadow of a family, really. Oh, she's hiding it. John's gonna show he's not messing. John, kill him. I was wrong. Yes, you were. Oh, Lord, please, mercy. Mercy. Oh. I'll go, I will. Please. I'm afraid. I've always been afraid. I'm so glad he did that. He's definitely not your son's father. Father's son, even. <laughs> what are you doing? This establishment belongs to Lord Peter Baelish. You could... You have profaned our faith, the faith of our fathers and forefathers. I am the High Septon of the... You are a sinner. Ah! And you shall... 
Oh, is this these serpents? Or whatever they're called. What is going on? The young man said I'd find a high sparrow back here. Where is he? High sparrow? Sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? Like Lord Duckling. He's on the Pirates of the Caribbean! So, it's meant to. We're often stuck with the names our enemies give to us. Did you receive word in the night from the Queen Mother? It must make me question our new alliance. True. The Madness has made you one of the great lords of Westeros. Yet here you are on the north undermining them. Why gamble with your position? Every ambitious move is a gamble. You gambled when you drove a dagger into Rob Stark's heart. It appears that your gamble paid off. You're a warden of the North. I had Tywin Lannister's backing. Who supports me now? You? The Eyrie is mine. The last time the Lords of the Eyrie formed an alliance with the Lords of the North, they brought down the greatest dynasty this world has ever known. Targaryens. I'd like to borrow one of your birds. Cersei would expect a reply. I'd like to read the reply. You just don't know whose side people are on anymore. It's so confusing. <laughs> Okay guys, so yeah that was a good episode, it wasn't as good as the first two, that was a bit slow, a slow of an episode, but there's still some really good parts in it. I can't believe that Tommen and Marjorie now married, so I'm really interested to see how that goes, if she is pregnant and she has a baby, that would be, <sighs> Cersei will be fuming. I do love the, the interactions between Cersei and Marjorie, I think that so well written, like, because they're just both playing each other, and they know they are, and it's just... It is just a brilliant scene, so I really love those scenes. I don't know why... Is his name Joe Jonah? 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 I don't know. I don't know why he at the end was like, I'm going to take you to the Queen. Like, My only thing is that maybe he's going to take him... Well, take him and be like, Look, I found a Lannister, someone who killed your family. Love me, sort of thing. I don't know. But, um... Because he was obviously deposed, wasn't he, by her? So, I don't know, time will tell. That was really good. I'm so low, I don't know why I'm so low. Because I haven't got the hang of this. I did really enjoy the episode. I'm surprised. I can't believe that Sansa's got to marry Ramsay. That's just like crazy as hell. Poor girl, I say, never gets a break. I'm intrigued to see what's going on with Arya's story as well. In the House of Black and White. You know, she couldn't fully give up herself, but she couldn't give up Needle. So, is that going to you know, hold her back in a sense. I'm, I reckon Faceless Assassin um, will know, you know, that he, that she did, that she, sorry, that she didn't put, get rid of the sword. So I'll be interested to see if that kind of holds her back a bit. And I'm interested to see more about the Sparrows. You know, I like that little scene there with Cersei and the High Sparrow, which is Elizabeth's dad from Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, so I'm really intrigued to see what, what's going on there in terms of that. So I'm really intrigued to see where all these storylines are going. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like, share, comment and subscribe. And yeah, until next time. See ya.